Hi everyone. So I was reading a post from uh, another Facebook page about a band and it brought back a memory uh, of something from the early days of the sport. Uh, they were talking about a band, uh, a famous rock band, and I believe this is probably the first uh, rock band to play the sport of disc golf. Um, maybe not, but I think there's a, a good possibility this is. So I figured I would uh, delve into another history lesson from the early days of the sport. Um, it's my day off for work, I'm bored, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, okay, so uh, Oak Grove Park was put in the ground in 1975, and the first baskets were installed in April of 1976. Now, Oak Grove got off to a really fast start as far as people playing the sport, and it had to do uh, as much from geography and geology as anything else. Now, it's not to discount the work that WAMO and I believe the IFA was around then and work they had done promoting it, but uh, I don't believe that's the main reason people were playing disc golf at Oak Grove Park. So, to understand this, you have to understand where Oak Grove Park is located. If you've been out there, you'll understand this, but uh, to explain, Oak Grove Park is in Pasadena, California. Now, if you look at a map, here's, here's the town of Pasadena, and at the far west side of Pasadena is the Arroyo Seco, which is just this big empty, barren little area, and at the other end of the Arroyo Seco is Oak Grove Park. Now, the only way to get to Oak Grove Park from Pasadena is you had to drive all the way around the Arroyo, Se Arroyo Seco to get to Oak Grove Park. Now, on the opposite side of the street from Oak Grove Park, over here was the town of Locking Out of Flint Ridge, but Oak Grove, technically, even though it was bordering and connected to Locking Out was part of Pasadena. Now, the reason this is important is, is that it was a real hassle and a headache for the police in Pasadena to go to Oak Grove Park. You had to take an entire detour out of your day to drive like 10 minutes each way around the Arroyo Seco to get to Oak Grove Park. And Pasadena didn't have, or excuse me, La Quinata, the town that bored Oak Grove Park, didn't have jurisdiction. What that meant was Oak Grove Park was this little island where people were not bothered by the police very often, and Oak Grove Park in the early days was uh, was a party park. Yeah? It's a place where people came to drink, and uh, uh, sorry for the people who don't want to believe this is the early days of our sport, but uh, uh, pot smoking and, and drinking and other things. That's, that's what Oak Grove Park was. So when people, uh, when the course was first installed, for the most part, people weren't drinking and partying while they disc golfed. People were disc golfing while they were drinking and partying. But there's no way that the sport would have taken off as quickly had this been in a park where that wasn't going on. I mean, this this park existed as a place where people could be kind of free from authority. And there was this golf course and there was something to do while they were partying. And that really is, uh, in the early days of the sport, that's that's what the majority of the people there were doing. Not, not everybody. There were some people that came out, some of the pioneers of our sport came out of Oak Grove that weren't part of this culture, for sure. But the culture of Oak Grove Park was it was a party park. Now, that's the geography. Now, the geology of the park that made it so conducive to this was that, uh, again, if you've ever been there, you'll know this. When you pull into Oak Grove Park, it takes a half a minute going down. Uh, you have to go down one road and then downhill down another road before you enter the park. Now, if you can imagine, Oak Grove Park was filled up. The, the whole course was a disc golf course other than one baseball field. It was filled up with disc golfers spread throughout the park, drinking and partying. And as soon as a police officer would pull into the park, or a cop car, or any kind of a black and white car, somebody would yell, Johnny Law, or cops, or something. And all of a sudden, throughout the park, you'd hear, Johnny Law, Johnny Law, Johnny Law, cops, cops, cops. And the word would spread like that throughout the park. Everybody would set down their beers, set down whatever else they might have been doing, would wander off. Uh, some guys would keep frisbees with them just so they could be doing something in the park when the cops showed up. Uh, other than drinking, which is, was their main pastime. But uh, in all the years I played there, I, I saw maybe two or three people ticketed, ah, maybe maybe seven or eight. But the cops would pull in there, do a little loop around the park, leave. You more than likely weren't going to see them again for a day. That was that was the culture of Oak Grove Park. Um, now, I'm going to sidetrack for one second and say that uh, um, I grew up in this park from age 12 to age 18, and uh, literally every day of my youth, Somebody from the original Oak Grove Gophers drove me home. I got home safe every single day. Uh, they took care of me. These are some of the best people in the entire world that I've ever known. And so none of this is a, a knock at anybody there. It just is what it is. This is the early days of disc golf. So how does this tie into the rock band? Well, 
uh, because it was such a party park, uh, occasionally bands would come down to a Grove Park and they would set up and, and jam in the park and have impromptu concerts. They're not organized concerts. Some band would jam and play. And um, there was a bunch of kids from Pasadena, and I believe one of them was from La Cunada, uh, who would uh, who came out there. I think they were in high school at the time and would jam. And uh, from all accounts, not all accounts, but from most accounts from the from the uh, the guys who were in the park in the early days, uh, they really they really sucked. They definitely didn't have a future in music. Uh, but they uh, they named themselves Van Halen, and Van Halen uh, went on to become Van Halen. Uh, but in the early days, Van Halen would play disc golf in between drinking and playing music occasionally at Oak Grove Park. So don't know if that's interesting or not. Uh, like I said, this is my day off of work, and I, and I managed to just kill. Uh, Three minutes of boredom sharing a story that us old people like to tell. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, I think Van Halen may have been the first rock band to play disc golf. And uh, 